Hey all, and welcome. I'm Murph Murphy, I use they, them pronouns, and I'm the Director of Queer Student Services at Portland State University. This video offers a brief introduction to using pronouns for all members of our community. It's important to remember that the language we use shapes culture, and also culture shapes the language that we use. When we practice using diverse pronouns, we are actively committing to creating a culture at Portland State University where people's identities are not assumed. A community where students, staff, and faculty are affirmed, celebrated, and honored for who they are using the language they choose. Using expansive and accurate language invites folks to be embodied in our classrooms, departments, programs, and community. So, what are pronouns? Simply put, pronouns are words that replace nouns or noun phrases. Personal pronouns are words that replace a person's name. We use them so that we don't have to repeat a person's name over and over again. Pronouns change based on our perspectives. So, first person singular are I and me. First person plural, we and us. Second person is you. Third person, she, her, they, them, ze, them, he, him. In meetings or greetings, when we choose to offer our pronouns, we offer our third person pronouns so that other people can refer to us accurately. Possessive pronouns are hers, theirs, his, and theirs, and reflexive pronouns are themself, herself, himself, and theirself. So binary pronouns are usually referring to binary genders that are man or woman. Those are he, him, his, and she, her, hers. Gender neutral pronouns are pronouns that we use when we don't know who we're talking about, are they, them, theirs. Some but not all non-binary people use they, them pronouns, and some people who are not non-binary also use they, them pronouns. But the truth is that we use a singular they, them pronouns all the time. Let's say class just got out and I noticed a jacket on my chair. I'd go up to the professor and say, hey, someone left their jacket here. Where can I put it in case they come back? So making these small adjustments refer to folks who use they, them pronouns that we know is just a small change that makes the world of difference. So neo-pronouns or alternative pronouns are gender expansive or not binary pronouns. Some examples are zizem them, theirs, fey, fem, fairs. Neo-pronouns are words that some non-binary, gender diverse, and agender folks use to describe themselves. Language changes all the time, and the English language systemically has not included non-binary, gender diverse, or agender folks. Neo-pronouns are continuously created as a way to evolve the English language to represent infinite possibility of gender expression. It's also important to note that not everybody uses pronouns. Some folks will use their name or other words, and no one owes us their pronouns. If people choose not to share their pronouns or don't use them, that also must be respected. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Hey Murph, okay, so how do I know a person's pronouns? Well first, bodies and genders are very separate things. Gender is an internal sense of self that can be non-binary, male, female, trans, no gender, genderqueer, etc. You cannot tell a person's gender and or pronouns by looking at them. And people's gender identities can and do change. There is no one way to be any gender, and assumptions about pronouns based on a person's appearance can be harmful. Also, people may choose to use two or more pronouns. If someone uses they, she, it's important to honor both of those. So, if we don't know someone's pronouns, or it's not presented to us, you can always offer your pronouns first, and often folks will follow your example. You can also listen to and read words folks use to refer to themselves and mirror them back. How affirming is that? And also, you can privately ask them without making a big to-do about it. So what if I make a mistake and misgender somebody? Misgendering happens when we use a person's incorrect pronouns or gender. When this happens, and it will happen, simply correct yourself and move on. When somebody else corrects me, I say thank you. I change my language and move on. That's it. It's important to not make a big deal out of it or apologize profusely. If you do keep misgendering people or are new to using expansive pronouns, I suggest you practice out loud by yourself, or you can head over to the Queer Resource website for some tools you can use. 
It takes time and practice to expand the English language while deconstructing assumptions we make about who people are by looking at them. To learn more about pronouns and other gender expansive language tips and tools, head over to the Queer Resource website or send us an email at qrc at pdx.edu. Thank you for your time and thank you for your commitment.